Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So finally, you started the stream to TikTok by using OBS Studio. But after a while, you're wondering, what about the alert during your live streams? Do not worry, because for today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up TikTok follower and give alert by using Tiffany desktop app and how to connect it with OBS. By using this method, it's able to make your stream look more professional. It's able to allow your TikTok alert to pop up during your live streams and actually gonna be more interactive. So after this video, you'll know how to set up alert using Techfinity, how to connect it with OBS, and what other amazing features that you can use for your TikTok live stream and some of the quick tips. Besides that, the app is free to use and super easy to set up. So be sure to watch to the end. Without wasting any more time, let's dive into the first step. Firstly, search Techfinity using your browser. After that, you'll be able to see the desktop app. Just go for it and download for your Windows and install into your PC. Once you have done install Techfinity, open up the app and you'll see something like this. Uh, it it will feel a little bit more complicated at first, but do not worry. I'll try to explain it as easy as possible so that you can actually set it up quickly and start streaming as soon as possible. The first step is to connect your TikTok account and register using a Gmail account. So firstly, go to the left side, you're able to see the setup. So some of you might know there's actually two names in TikTok. So how do you actually look for the TikTok username to key in in Techfinity? I'm going to show you right now. Just open up your TikTok using a browser mode. You're gonna see there's an alliance behind it. So use this username and put it into your Techfinity and log in with your Gmail. So once you've done connect your TikTok live stream, you're gonna see disconnected or click to connect. So whenever you click to connect right now, it will show an error because your TikTok live stream is currently offline. So for my case, when I go live on TikTok, it will automatically connect. But if it does not connect, remember to click disconnect to TikTok live when you're doing live streams. Once you have all your accounts set up, which brings us to the second step, which also the best part. Now, you're able to see there's a lightning kind of icon on the left and below that you're able to see sound alert and actions and events. So for today's video, we're going to focus on the alert for your TikTok live stream. So we need to go under actions and events. So you'll see something like here. Remember that the first step is to create the action. So go to create new actions. I'm going to rename it as my, for example, a follower testing. So after you have done key in your actions name, the next up is to like, for example, if someone follow you, do you like to show any? animations or audio or picture so for my case i love to use animations and choose animations there are actually a bunch of free animation that you can use so for me i'm gonna use this uh this let's say this fireworks here after that play an audio open sound library there's also a lot of free audio that you can use for the follower alert so for example how about this part <laughs> All right, let's use this. Let's use this. All right, after that, there's much more that you can set up. You can read the text message, TTS, or you can even send a chatbot message, but we're gonna make it as simple as possible so that it won't actually be complicated for you. The next up is your duration. You can either use um, five to 10 seconds for the animations. So that media sound volume, I always suggest do not put in maximum. For example, if your stream suddenly blows up, there's so much of followers coming in and you're able to just keep on hearing the first sound. Which... <laughs> which we don't want that all right so overlay screen remember put it to screen one this is very important i'm gonna show you why enable fade in fade out yes make it more animation like it make it more better and just click save so if you like to do for the give alert just create new actions and follow the process so after that the next step we're gonna do is to set up the events so once you've done the actions after that you need to create new events so what does this mean so the first actions for example you are set for the follower actions but how Techfinity gonna actually trigger the event so for example you may see who is able to trigger the event any follower because we're going for followers after that by what will the event be triggered we're gonna go for follow after that trigger all of this event look for for the follower testing that we set up just now after that click save so this way when you're doing live streams on tiktok it able to trigger the follower event by using this all the animations and the audio that you have been set up and you can follow the same process for give like and even share alert for example i have my like alert has been set up so click edit sending likes minimum amount 1000 after that for the gift let me see all right so give here sending a gift with minimum coins value i set it to minimum 10 after that same thing trigger all of this action remember to save the action name so that easy for you to look which action that you would like to trigger after that just click save up to now if the video is helpful do not forget to like the video it's the best way to help the channel to grow and do not forget to comment down below do you prefer to use stickfinity app for your tiktok live streaming 
So once you're done all the setup alert for your followers, your likes, skip, and even the share alert, do you still remember the screen one that we talked about just now? That is used to actually paste it as a browser source into your OBS. So that way you're able to trigger it and show the animations during the live streams. So how do you do it? Alright, just below the events, you're able to see the overlay screen settings. Just click on it and it says that you already copied so let me pull up my obs all right you can either edit by two ways just right click on the empty space under the source or you're able to see this plus button just click on it and we're gonna look for browser so i'm gonna just uh make it a tiktok alert testing all right just click ok and paste the url that we copied just now paste it and click ok so you're able to see there's a red box right here the square box this is where the alert i'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger so once i've done this we need to actually trigger and test is the alert actually popping up so let me first pull up my technology so you're able to see simulate follow simulate share simulate subscribe just under the overlay screen just go all the way down below so for example we're gonna simulate the follow all right, you're able to see it now. That actually pops up. So whenever the follower actually followed, it's gonna show up the name. For example, we're gonna simulate a GIF. Oh, hold on. Because I set my GIF to minimum 10. So let me just reset it to 1. Click save. So after that, uh, any GIF, for example, we're gonna just go for rows and simulate GIF. Now, you're able to see that? Yep. So this is how you set up the GIF and follower alert from Tickfinity and use it in OBS. So when you use Tickfinity for TikTok live streams, it does not only have to do alerts. It can do so much more stuff. For example, on the left side, you're able to see the overlay gallery, goals overlay, and GIF overlay. So we're going to go through this overlay gallery and you're able to see there's so much fun stuff that you can actually use it and paste it into your OBS. You're going to make your streams look way more fun, way more playful, and way more interactive but there are some overlay that you can't use because it is pro but we start small that's why we're gonna start free the next up is you can go for this go overlay and you can actually add the goal the mean your goal um subscriber goal share goals follower goals like goals so much stuff you can actually add it and paste it as a browser source into obs and readjust the size according to the layout you are streaming at and the next up is your give overlay you can even show the name your challenge set up all those stuff into your tiktok live stream so that whenever we drop by to your streams it gonna looks woo looks much cooler and way much more interactive so we're gonna share some of the quick tips that you have to actually aware of during your live stream firstly do not close tickfinity app during your live stream always leave it open secondly if the tiktok alert is not working you can either refresh the cache of current page inside the obs and retest it from tickfinity to make sure everything is working perfectly and thirdly if you are streaming to youtube it is also able to simulate the subscribe alert for your youtube live streaming as I said, the process of the setup is actually very, very easy. It's just the UI looks a little bit complicated. So if you're wondering how to stream to TikTok without 1,000 followers, you might want to check out my recent video. And if you're looking for a multi-chat to use for your multi-stream, we got one for you. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more streamings and content creation tips. So enjoy your streamings and enjoy for the alerts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.